Uh, well, Ryan, firstly, uh, welcome back to, uh, to first team. I was going to say first team action, maybe not quite first team tonight, but uh, you know what I mean. Uh, welcome back. And the captain's armband as well for you. Yeah, it was nice. It was great to be back out there. Um, had a really good week uh, in Coventry, picked up a bit of a knock, uh, which was really frustrating because I felt so good. Um, had to buy my time then, just great to, to come out. Obviously a place where I've been before in front of all the Forest fans, it was it was really nice. Yeah, not a bad atmosphere tonight for a friendly, was it? It was great, yeah. Um, you, you know, it's always going to be like that. It's been a few years since since we've played each other. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed it, felt really good and, and on to the next one. And uh, you're OK after, after your knock? Because that must have been a... You know, pretty. It's a horrible time to get a knock, isn't it? In pre-season, you don't want to be end up too far behind everybody else. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, I, I really look after myself off the pitch, and and it's one of them. Like, I'd rather get it out of the way with now and and be ready for the start of the season than than pick it up. You know, a few weeks later. So, no, it's just precautionary. Again tonight, just just didn't want to you know push it any further and you know there's got we've got got to focus on you know the start of the Premier League season and and that's just our full focus. I was going to say in, in any season in any pre-season you don't want to end up behind anybody else especially this season. Yeah exactly we've, we've got to give ourselves the best chance individually and as a team to to be firing come come August 6th against you know Newcastle so each day as it comes and and you know we'll, we'll take it from there. It looked to be a little smile on your face when you talked about August the 6th then. I guess that's the feeling through the whole camp, isn't it? You've been waiting for this since May the 29th, haven't you? Yeah, it's, it's difficult. You know, the manager says to just focus on each day. You know, we're still in pre-season, Valencia Saturday, and then we've got a full week to prep. But, you know, it's, it's difficult to, to not get excited about, about what's going to be an amazing campaign for the club, the city and everyone involved. So, you know, it's one of them. We're all like little kids just waiting for you know, sort of Christmas Day. Everything about it, isn't it? I mean, you, I know you had the, the the Premier League media day uh, just before the Notts County friendly as well. It, it, all of that sort of stuff is is different and exciting, isn't it? It is, yeah. You, you know, the other yesterday was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Yeah, they all came in, and it just shows you the, you know, how big how big a club and how big the Premier League is. All these different different people wanting to you to do things for them, and you know, we've got to just take that in our stride and, and embrace it because you know. Hopefully, if we do really well this season, then more and more of that's going to be coming and happening for us. One thing that's made it feel really big in the last week, of course, is, is the signing of, of Jesse Lingard. Uh, how's it to have a player like that alongside you in training? Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, as long as he, he's a top lad, which he is, and he brings great energy to the team. And, and not only that, he's a fantastic player. Um, it's going to be really exciting for me to, me personally to play with him this season and, and, and bodes well really good for the rest of the squad he just ups the level um, you know we're still improving you can see tonight there's still things we want to improve upon um, and the last game so you know he just adds to the depth and adds to the quality also you obviously made some big signings this season, but in terms of the stardust, he's he's it so far. I mean, who knows what's going to happen between now and, and the end of August? Who knows? But yeah. it does feel that anything can happen at this club at the moment. Yeah, you wouldn't know. You know, he's played for England and, and Man United so many times, and he's that big star because he's just he's just normal and he's a really humble, nice guy. Um, and you know, that's all us as players are really want from from people who come in who just come in just be themselves and and try and enhance the team. And, and he's certainly doing that. So I'm sure you'll see the best in this season. Because that's the thing, isn't it? I, I know that most footballers would say, yeah, OK, they sign a new player and it means there's there's extra competition. But as long as it makes the team better and it makes the squad better, mm -hmm. then, you know, go with it. Yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. You need to bring the right characters in since the gaffer and, and all his staff have come in. That That's what they've done from the start. They've, they've looked at the character before the player and... And it's been fantastic. All the lads who've come through the door have, have been and been top lads, um, as well as good players. So keep that coming and, and keep enhancing the squad. And you know we'll be absolutely fine. Steve Cooper told us last week that among you know he's, you've obviously had to make a lot of signings because it's been a big turnover. A lot of people have left mm, the club as yeah. well. But he was saying that what's really important is to try and recreate that spirit that you had last last season. Do you sense that's beginning to build again in the dressing room? Yeah, like when you, when you look at it, really, like you know five have gone and and you need to replace them and you need to add to the squad. Um, you know, so there is going to be a big overhaul of players. That's that's natural. Um, we're in the Premier League, so you know that that is the ins and outs are going to happen naturally, and it's just finding that right balance. Um, obviously, the gaffer does, does great work behind the scenes, trying to get us gelling. And but that that might take a little bit of time. Hopefully, we hit the ground running. But you know, we need nights like tonight. We need difficult pre-season games. Um, it's going to be a difficult test on on Saturday. And you know, it, it all bodes well for for what we're building here at Forest. And you know, things do take time. But you know, we just got to be patient. And you know, this is the Premier League, so you know, just take it as it comes. I know you've 
as a professional, you've got to stay grounded. You've got to keep your feet on the floor, haven't you? But it's exciting, isn't it? It's so exciting, honestly. I'm just trying to just take it each day as it comes. Obviously, picking up a knock, I've been quite selfish, just focusing on myself, getting myself back out there. Felt really good for 45 minutes, so I just want to build on that and you know let, let the people behind the scenes build the, build the team that we all want.